read this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth as a as the anchor this month's theme is my god who made me understanding our relationship with god and experiencing him on a personal level cannot happen without understanding him as the creator as the source of all things as the one who made us and has a purpose for us join us and be blessed hello today we will be reading from romans chapter 15 from verse 1 to verse 6 we who are strong must be considerate of those who are sensitive about things like this. We must not just please ourselves. We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. For even Christ didn't live to please himself. As the scriptures say, the insults of those who insult you, O God, have fallen on me. Such things were written in the scriptures long ago to teach us and the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. May God who gives this patience and encouragement help you live in complete harmony with each other as is fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. Then all of you can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, our topic is living together. Living together. If you read the um, chapter preceding this um, passage we just read, it was talking about um, accepting um, other believers who are not like at yet at your level of spiritual maturity or learning to understand each other being patient and holding each other's hand like not everyone will understand the scriptures to the level you have and sometimes you might not understand the scriptures to the level someone else has but we should be patient to help each other like that's what the summary of this whole area is i didn't want to start reading from how many (laughs) verses away but this particular passage we just read i think captures it quite well i'm bringing this up because there was a conversation i had with some of my very good friends yesterday and I've been thinking about it at some point because somehow when I say we had different opinions no, we, we were all on the same page with it but just um, expressing more views and um, depths about our understanding talking about a particular question one person raised and in that situation it wasn't exactly um one person being more knowledgeable than the other but just sharing from our own um, relationship with God and our lives as Christians what we do in certain situations from the conversation my response was more like oh yes we have the Holy Spirit to lead us in these things and We might not always have the exact same approach to things pertaining to um, our personal work with God. But this passage that we read today, there's something there that is very um, important to me, like a learning point for me. It says that We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord, for even Christ didn't live to please himself. 
I'm find, trying to find the right words to explain this here. That Jesus didn't come and just tell us that, oh, we have the Holy Spirit to teach us when he goes. So he wouldn't tell us anything. He wouldn't give us any pointers. He wouldn't teach us. He wouldn't um, share with us. He did. Even the apostles in the scriptures, they shared with us from their own personal experience, from their walk with God, giving us clear instructions on things to do and ways we can grow. They know we have the Holy Spirit, but they didn't keep quiet still. And that is one thing that I learned from this passage that even though we have the spirit of god that we know that christians that we are led by the spirit of god and sometimes we might have different instructions and paths laid out for us with god but we shouldn't hold back from helping others around us in their own work with god when they ask us when they ask us it's okay to say like oh yes follow the leading of the spirit but for someone to ask you something sometimes it means that they don't have any clear directions about that particular area and we have been placed there at the right time to speak with them and encourage them and share with them whatever it is that god has laid in our own hearts We should live together with one another as Christians, helping each other at every point. God is the father of us all, and he expects us to be there for each other, even as he is there for each and every one of us. Some resources have been placed in our hands, some words have been placed in our hearts, some blueprints have been given to us, that we can share with people around us. Going forward, I'm learning myself too, sometimes when people reach out to me, even though I remind them that your work with God is a personal thing. But if you need my help, I will always be there for you. And if you have questions, I can always share from my own personal experience. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the power, the kingdom, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have a nice day. Bye.